Hey guys, what is up? Nick or Handsome Coyote 3 here. And today I'm bringing you guys a dual Moab fail in the map Bakara. Gonna be playing some ground war domination, rocking the infrared one with the suppressor, and also with the specialist setup. And the first Moab is about a 3 minute and 20 second Moab, and then uh, the second Moab fail was a 19 gun streak. I definitely think it could have been a double because I had an advanced UAV up, so I don't know how I uh, how I ended up screwing it up, but I rushed into their spawn, and I think I got a dual up in G9 behind a wall or something like that. Just a normal uh, bullcrap for MW3. But as you guys can see in the title, uh, this gameplay is not going to be about the, uh, or this commentary is not going to be about the gameplay. As you guys can see, I'm turning 16 years old, and I'm doing this commentary on April 2nd. My birthday is actually April 3rd. And uh, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, if you guys want to jump to it right now, I actually have a picture of the car that I got over the weekend. It's a 1990 Ford Mustang convertible GT with a 5.0 engine. And it's a pretty awesome car. Um, I really, really like the convertible part. I've actually never even rode in a convertible until I uh, drove my own car. And it's definitely pretty awesome. Uh, you know, feeling the wind while you're driving is the best part. But, basically, I kind of want to give you guys, um, you know, a few things about my car. Um, basically, uh, there's a few upsides to it and a few downsides that I've uh, figured out over the last uh, three days that I've had the car. Um, one of the major upsides is the fact that it only has 13,000 miles and it's 22 years old. If you guys are big into cars or, you know, know enough about cars, you know that that's a lot of miles, or not a lot of miles for the shorter or the long amount of time that it's been around. So 13,000 miles in 22 years is uh, pretty great. Um, the owner was actually uh, my neighbor, and he was kind of physically handicapped uh, basically for like the last 15 years. So he didn't get a lot of driving time on it. I was actually lucky that the car wasn't ruined because no one has driven it for like two years. It's been sitting in his basement. But it's in great condition, and you guys will be able to see that um, with a picture that I put at the end of this video. So like I was saying, uh, that's a big upside to the car. Um, also, it has a 5.0 engine in it, which, you know, I'm not the biggest car buff, but I know that a 5.0 engine is kind of like a, uh, you know, a souped-up engine, especially for a Mustang. Uh, the car's not very big. You guys are going to see that in the video. So it definitely can uh, it definitely be, be a pretty good racing car. The speedometer goes up to about 140, which is pretty good for a 1990 vehicle. And... Uh, yeah, so that's with the upsides, and I actually have a big downside to the car. Um, it's actually stick shift, and a lot of you guys probably think that's cool because you can go out there and hit the e-brake and drift and stuff like that. But, um, the you know, I've never drove a stick shift before, and it's definitely been a task. Um, I've actually had a few times where I've embarrassed myself in a, for a lot of people spinning out my tires, and uh, also I've had the car die and stuff. So... And there's a lot of embarrassing things that can happen while you're driving a stick shift, but I'll get used to it. And definitely, um, there's just some things that you kind of have to learn to make uh, to make your driving experience better when driving a stick shift. Because the fact that if you don't um, pull out the clutch, you know, I'm sure you guys know what a clutch is. If you don't pull out the clutch at a certain amount of time while accelerating your car, it would just die. And let's just say if you're going down the road and you're uh, changing gears like from first to second and uh, you screw up and you're gonna be stuck right in the middle of the highway which might cause a r accident or something like that and then also another downside is like if you're on top of a hill and there's like a stoplight up in front of you um, you will uh, you know you're gonna have to be able to accelerate really, really fast because your car might roll and hit the car behind you so those are kind of the main downsides to the car overall it's really cool for especially for my first car um, I've been really, really awaiting this day because I actually live out in the country, and you guys are going to see in the picture, uh, I have a barn in the back, so I kind of, I'm not a farmer or anything, but I live out in the country, kind of have some farmland, and, you know, I live really, really far away from my town that I go to school to, about 15 minutes away, I have two neighbors, they're both older, so I have no friends out here, so I'm kind of ready to get my license, so I can kind of go out and hang out with friends and stuff like that. And that kind of brings me to the point that um, you know, I won't be getting as many gameplays for you guys um, because the fact that I'm going to be trying to, uh, you know, just hang out with friends a lot more because it's kind of a burden for my parents to have to drive me into town like 15 minutes there and 15 minutes back, especially with the way gas prices are and stuff like that. So it's not really fair to make them drive me everywhere. 
but now that I if I get my license then I'll be able to uh, you know drive myself or wherever not really have to worry about putting the burden on my parents to take me anywhere and uh, yeah guys uh, that's basically it on the car uh, make sure to stay and you know, check out the picture leave some comments on what you guys think about the car um, you know leave some comments if you guys are 16 and have cars or older or whatever I'm definitely really, really happy with the car. I was not expecting it. Actually, uh, the way that I got the car is I was eating at a restaurant, and I was in the city. I live by Kansas City, and my dad told, gave me, hand me the keys. I had no idea what car it was, and he told me to go find it in the parking lot. So I had to walk down like four or five roads. He kind of gave me a vicinity to look in, but it was kind of cool. And then when I came up to it and saw it was a Mustang, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, guys, uh, the game playing commentary is wrapping up to an end here. Uh, stay for the picture. I thought you guys would enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the game playing commentary. And if you guys would, drop a like. That would really mean a lot. And also, drop a uh, comment what you guys thought. That's it. See you guys later.